in Las Vegas, where bigger is always better. Or at least that's what they seem to think here in the land of excess. I mean, where else can you get a free meal just for weighing over 350 pounds? I'm not kidding. Here at the Heart Attack Grill, you really do get a free meal if you subject yourself to the humiliation of being weighed publicly on this freight scale, where a digital readout broadcasts your weight to everyone walking by. But aside from the world's biggest tourists, Las Vegas is also home to many other size record holders. Like the world's biggest Coke bottle, the world's biggest pint glass, and the world's biggest gift shop, which is home to the world's biggest collection of crap. But in my opinion, there's really only a handful of truly remarkable world's biggest attractions in Las Vegas. So let's go check them out. You'll never earn a free meal at the Heart Attack Grill by eating salad. Instead, come here to the world's biggest chocolate fountain at a bakery inside the Bellagio. This chocolate fountain is 27 feet tall with over 500 feet of stainless steel piping and six pumps circulating two tons of chocolate at a rate of 120 quarts per minute. The bakery sells all kind of yummy cakes, cookies, and goodies, making it easy to achieve the record for world's biggest ass in no time. But you know what? I don't even really like chocolate. I know, I'm weird. I only like white chocolate. But also, like Gene Wilder in Willy Wonka, my philosophy has always been candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Thankfully, Vegas isn't what you would call a dry town. And our next stop happens to be at a bar right across the street at Planet Hollywood. Meet Sin City Cindy, the world's biggest stripper. This 31 foot tall statue towers over the Miracle Mile shopping mall in a bustier, mini skirt, and platform boots, working a giant stripper pole. Can you get any more Vegas than that? The bar she's in front of used to be called the Stripper Bar, and you used to be able to take stripper classes here. But apparently, they classed the join up. Now it's called the Showgirl Bar, but you still have to walk between Sin City Cindy's legs to get into the bar. Back in the day, there was supposedly a camera hidden in her crotch to catch people's reactions looking up. But I guess that wasn't classy enough either, and the crotch cam went the way of the old stripper bar name. And now it's just a regular bar that happens to have the world's biggest stripper in front of it. Sin City Cindy isn't the only giant, scantily clad babe in town, though. For decades, a giant neon cowgirl named Vegas Vicky towered over a downtown strip club called Glitter Gulch. Vicky has since been moved into the new Circa Hotel Casino, but her old boyfriend, Vegas Vic, is still standing in his original spot on Fremont Street proudly holding down the title of world's biggest mechanical neon sign. At 40 feet tall, Vegas Vic was erected outside the Pioneer Club Casino way back in 1951 and was totally cutting edge for the time. Not only did his arm used to wave up and down, every 15 minutes he'd say, Howdy, partner. Although apparently when the actor Lee Marvin was staying across the street filming a movie, he complained about the noise and they turned off Vegas Vic's voice for nearly two decades. It doesn't look like he really moves anymore and it's so dang loud down here that I couldn't hear if he was saying howdy, partner or not. Let's get out of this chaos and I'll take you to the next world's biggest thing on our list. After drinking the world's biggest pint, you're gonna need to take a whiz. And if you happen to be a dog, well then you're in luck, because our next stop happens to be the world's largest working fire hydrant. That's right, 
This 15 foot tall fire hydrant was built as part of a private dog park in downtown Vegas. How about that? This was back when East Fremont Street was being gentrified by hipster millennials and well, you know how hipster millennials are. They don't have kids. It's all about fur babies. So they needed a place where they could safely walk their dogs, fenced off from all the bums and crazy people. And supposedly there is or there was some kind of nozzle or lever you could turn and water would actually blast out of here. But it looks like they shut it off probably to stop the bums from taking showers. But that's okay, I'm sure it didn't blast out like a real fire hydrant anyway. And now that it's shut off, does it even qualify as the world's biggest working fire hydrant? Okay, I'll admit it, the world's biggest fire hydrant is kind of lame. And now that I think about it, since Vegas Vic doesn't even move anymore, well then he's technically no longer the world's biggest mechanical neon sign either. Classic Vegas, always fudging the truth. But we still have one more world's biggest thing to go check out. And I saved the best for last because this one really is amazing. This right here is the world's biggest gold nugget. Fittingly, it's on display here in the lobby of a hotel called the Golden Nugget. This 61 pound chunk of gold was found by a random guy with a metal detector in Australia back in 1980, who eventually sold it to the hotel for a million dollars. It's actually a really cool story because I guess the guy who found this thing was completely broke and living in a trailer park. So finding this thing totally changed his family's lives. I guess technically the nugget weighs 874.82 troy ounces, and because of its shape, it's known as the Hand of Faith. It was found only 12 inches underground behind an abandoned elementary school, and to this day it remains the biggest golden nugget ever found by a metal detector. And I think it's estimated to be worth around $5 million nowadays. Can you imagine how heavy that gold nugget must be? I would love to be able to pick that thing up and feel it for myself. And can you imagine how excited the guy who found it must have been when his metal detector started going off and he started digging? I mean, I have a metal detector myself, and I guess I really should learn how to use it and start bringing it with me, because Nevada has a pretty big percentage of the world's gold. I think something like 5% of all the gold in the world comes from Nevada. So maybe I should start bringing that metal detector with me when I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Well, this concludes our tour of my favorite world's biggest tourist attractions in Las Vegas. Now I'm gonna get in my car and head back to the blessed desert before I get stuck in the world's biggest traffic jam or caught in the world's biggest mass shooting. Just kidding, Vegas is very safe, and the 2017 Mandalay Bay shooting was only the biggest in the United States, not the world. There were bigger ones in Kenya and Pakistan. But either way, I'm glad to be getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs>